Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Tuesday, March 19th, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the downside today in a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low and a black body candle, so we've seen quite some change in sentiment in this market. So for the previous day's trading, we had a downtrend, but we had a bright white body candle. It did suggest that there was a possibility of this market changing trend back to the upside. We had a window established here at this uh, small uh, uh, rectangle, uh, not easy to see because it is a very small window. And uh, a strong barrier to this market was always going to be this 129.68 level. In the recent past, very solid support. And then for yesterday's candle, it provided uh, resistance to the market. And today, the market traded to that area and was strongly rejected from the 129.68 area. So very, very solid resistance overhead here for this market. Looking at how this candle traded, however, uh, we did see strong price rejection from the 128.57 support area. So uh, uh, that is an area that we should be watching. And today, as this current candle is... Uh, developing we are seeing the market uh, flirting with that area at the moment and the trading is bearish uh, we have a black candle forming at the moment so it will be interesting to see how we uh, trade relative to that area if we see a bearish close down below the 128.57 area we could easily see the market testing down to within this zone of support that extends from 127.50 roughly down to 126.50 so a very solid area of support down below this 128.57 area uh, looking at where the uh, market closed within the range, we have closed down uh, below the midpoint level, not at the low. So the sellers have taken control of this market, whereas the buyers had uh, fairly weak control previously. The change of sentiment here is that the sellers have taken control, uh, not strong control. But it is in line with the sellers finding some decent downside momentum uh, with regard to the uh, market um, making a uh, net, net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. So this does suggest that there is a good possibility of the market trading lower down through the 128.57 area. Now just looking at the Fibonacci extension and today we saw the market testing to the 100% level and uh, not trading uh, down uh, below there or trading below there but not closing down below. Uh, previous days trading the market tested too there as well. Uh, this suggests that there is a possibility of uh, the 100% level at 128.83 holding up as support but already we're seeing the market trading down below there. Looking at today's candle how it's closed, uh, the sellers, uh, sorry the buyers are not uh, uh, supporting um, uh, the uh, market at the moment and it does suggest that the 100% level uh, will not hold and that's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. For these Fibonacci levels to be uh, important levels that we that we could look at trading, we don't just follow them blindly, we should look at how the market reacts to them. and. Uh, look at what the candles are telling us and this candle is quite bearish and it su it's suggesting that the 100% level will be broken. Now if we do continue trading down we do need to watch the low of the current candle for a potential lower high, high and lower low to develop but we do have a target down at the 161.8% level at 127.45 and that 127.45 level coincides exactly with the top of this previously highlighted zone of very strong support and resistance. Now in terms of the Fibonacci retracement, the market is in an expensive mode of that uh, traded through the 100% level uh, for the previous day's trading. There was a possibility of a change of trend to the upside but uh, the resistance overhead was too strong. Today we've closed down below the 100% level in a bearish manner. So this does suggest that this market has strong potential to trade down to 161.8% down to the 127.89 level. Now in terms of Ichimoku, a bearish market in all three time frames. The market's trading below the uh, cloud, so bearish in the long term time frame. We're, we're trading below the Kijun Sen, so bearish in the medium term time frame. And trading below the Tenkan Sen, so bearish in the uh, fast term time frame. The Chika Span is below the corresponding price action, so confirming the negativity that we're seeing across the board in all three time frames. Looking at the angle of both of these lines and disregarding this last bit because that's uh, uh, 
reflecting uh, this unfinished candle at the moment but uh, both the Tenkinsen and Kijinsen are pointing down sharply reflecting some solid downside momentum in this market and this all does suggest that the bias here is to the downside if the market trades through the 128.57 level in a bearish manner we could easily see the market trading down to around this 127.45, 127.50 area